Hi, welcome to this uh, VA Day, which is on Tuesday, the 7th of November, and it is 7.45 p.m. GMT. What we're going to be doing in a moment is looking at some charts of two high odds trade setups in our view. They're going to be USD JPY and Euro JPY. Now, in terms of what we're going to be doing, we're going to be using very simple technical analysis backed up by the COT net traders positions for us, the best tool in Forex trading. And you can learn more about it on the video link beneath this one. Now, on our other channel, it's a feature channel on this one, which is FX Inflow Online. We've done a few COT net trader setups recently. And yeah, the best one did 600 pips, which is USD CAD. Now I'm going to start issuing more videos on this channel in relation to trade setups. You can go and take a look uh, at FX Info online if you wish. Um, but you know, when we're looking for COT trade setups, we're not looking for 100 pips or 200. It's normally 500 or more. Both the trade setups we're going to look at, okay, have the potential to do that. And what you'll understand um, if you're not unfamiliar with the COT is how powerful it is in terms of helping you not only predict a market turning point or detect a market turning point, but also measure how far a move might go, which you just can't do from pure technical analysis. Yeah, it measures the sentiment behind the chart. Now, unfamiliar with the COT, I've seen this video underneath this one. We just want to watch the video through right now. Just keep in mind, we want to trade with smart money commercials when their positions diverge from speculators. Right, what we're going to do first of all, look at USD JPY, and it's going to be the COT net traders positions first. COT data for the uh, Japanese yen against the US dollar. On the uh, COT, it's always foreign currency first, okay? So we're obviously going to have to reverse that round in a moment to USD JPY. But all I want to do on this chart is just basically show you um, divergence between uh, commercials in red, smart money hedgers, large speculators in green, and when they diverge against each other and their positions oppose uh, to a, a large degree, you're going to find the break will be in favour of the commercials. And I've isolated four big commercial long Japanese yen positions, okay, uh, where the speculators have dropped, sh sorry, dropped short against them. Now, the four I've noted are all above 100,000 net long contracts for the commercials. And you can see what happens. They build up this big long position here. Prices immediately move higher. Okay, so they catch this low. Then here, they catch that low. Then here, they catch that low. And here, we haven't really moved yet, but prices are starting to steady up. So from the reading of the COT data, because of yeah, how big the position is, Right now, it's as big as this one on the chart. And this move here was basically 500 pips. This one here could easily be 500 pips as well. Now what we'll do is we'll reverse it around to USD JPY, do some levels of a stop target. On the USD JPY daily chart, we've got the chart the right way round. Um, what I'm going to do is draw some levels of a stop entry and target as I see the chart. This is my view as of right now. You can follow our view daily in our member center, you can get life membership, because uh, obviously this is my, my view as of right now, it can change in line with the market conditions. Now, in terms of the charting we're going to do, it's going to be very simple. We don't need to make it complicated because we know the COT, okay? And that's telling us, yeah, the buying and selling power behind the charts. It's giving us clues to entry and also will help us project targets, which you can't do from technical analysis alone. I've isolated the last cot extreme we saw. Yeah, speculators bought heavily here. Commercials sold against them. Speculators just buying into the highs. Um, I put <laughs> speculators sell, I meant commercial sell, apologies. And a 600 pip decline unfolds, okay? So we've got a similar cot extreme over here. Now, if I draw a line there through the peak of the previous extreme, we can see what happens. Speculators are starting to really buy heavily here, okay? 
and commercials are going against them. We have a poke up to try and take the level, doesn't work. Come back, there we go, and then we settle back. Okay, so we can't take out the 114.50 level. And also, this poke today, you can see it, it can't get near that one. We're still blue though, okay? So where would you come in? Well, my own view is, just wait for this support level to get taken out. And that is going to be uh, 113.65, okay? So that's the level I'd come in through. Just let some red come on the chart, okay? Now, where could we go to? Well, if you just look at it from a pure technical point of view, you'd probably say there was good support here at 113, okay? But, yeah, you know, you've got the cot on your side, so this level is not going to hold. Maybe down here. We'll have to see how it develops, but that, that level's not going to hold if speculators start to get run on stop. The level that I think we will go to will be here. 111. That's the first target, okay? So down to here. And because we are so extreme, I'm not going to say we're going to go all the way down to here. I'm going to pick out where there's a big cluster of candles, which is 109. Okay, so in terms of pips, there's a good amount of pips you know, from here all the way down to here. So where would you want to put your stop? Well, you wouldn't want to put it just behind here, okay? Because there will be stops here, I'm sure, of people trying to you know, catch the high, okay? You want to be one level back. And when I say one level back, I mean outside of the, any stop cluster that may be here, okay? So I'm going to say round number, 115. Okay, round numbers are always very significant because prices very often get sucked towards them. So you can put your stop back, I think, at 115.45, well back from the round number. Okay, so your risk is not that much in relation to your reward. You've got yeah, at least a two to one down to here. And if we get down to here, it's over three to one. Once she starts to run to the downside, you can always bring the stop down, you know, a little bit closer. But that's the way I play it coming in. And for me, this looks a real high odds trade. If you look in the media, most of the media is saying there's no reason why the dollar shouldn't go up to 116. And they've been saying that for the last week or two. Yet, look what's happened. The dollar simply cannot take out this previous peak. The speculators have run out of buying. They're going to get hit on stop, in my view, and we're going to see a big decline. OK, so for me, looks a really good risk to reward trade. Right now, let's move on to the next chart, which is um, Euro JPY. In chart of Euro uh, JPY daily. Now, in terms of the commitment of traders report, obviously it's released by the CFTC. Uh, it's a free report but they only cover the major pairs. There is no um, COT positions for the crosses. So what you have to do is work it out from the majors. So you total up what the groups have uh, in both um, USD JPY and Euro USD, and you can create the cross. And we do it in a simple divergence way. And what I mean by that is we work out how many longs over shorts or shorts over longs each group has got and what we can see speculators 4.9 to 1 in terms of their long positions over their shorts smart money commercials 5.6 to 1 in terms of shorts over longs so speculators heavily bullish commercials bearish add the two groups together how far they diverge from each other it's 10.5 we found that any divergence above 10 is a good one to trade. And where I'm about to draw the line now is where the divergence built up to above 10. So in effect, um, you know, we've come off this double top here, form another double top there, and we've broken to the downside. At the moment we're in at 133.50, okay? Uh, but I think yeah, for anyone coming into this trade, um, there's really good downside potential, okay? Long way to go on the downside. This divergence in historical terms points to a big move, and you'll just see how big I think it's going to be in a second. Now, 
in terms of what we've done is we've come in, okay, come down, come back to this 20-day moving average, which we're expecting to provide resistance, it has, and now little candle, still blue, okay? Now, we've got a round number, 133. We think that is gonna hold, okay? We can get a double trend line. So basically what you've got is we tested resistance and we're coming off, okay, we're still blue, but I just feel we're gonna run. So where would you wanna come in, okay? I think through here. Okay, so through 131.70, come through here and then we're going down. We should expect stops to be hit. You could put your stop 133.50. So you've got a really good risk to reward trade in our view. So how far are we going to run? Well, personally, I think you've got to say this will probably be the first stop because there are so many speculators long. You can actually argue a case. Sorry, I'm just trying to get my line straight. There we go. For 130 providing some support. But I just don't think it will. I think as soon as we come through this level, the stops will get run. And yeah, we're going to do at least 400 uh, odd pips on the downside. Now, I wouldn't actually be surprised. Obviously, I have to see how this trade pans out. But I wouldn't actually be surprised if we went all the way down to 125. Yeah. If you look at the news again, the media is universally yeah, kind of bullish the euro and bearish the yen. I, I just don't feel um, there's any upside or much upside left in this pair. We're going to get a big break to the downside. Like I said, we're already in. But you, anyone coming in fresh this trade, there's still plenty of downside to come. Uh, I just feel that um, yeah, the stops of the specs are going to get hit. And get hit hard, um, big run to the downside. And, and the great thing, as you've just seen from the uh, COT, if you're new to our videos, is not only can it help you come in, uh, you know, detect an entry into a trade, it can also allow you to predict, or not predict, but estimate how far a trend might run. You cannot do that just purely from technicals because you don't know what's behind the chart. The COT gives you insight. Now, uh, we've used COT now for near enough 30 years. It's given us all our big trades, okay? It's a, a fantastic tool. It is free as well. CFTC just release it free. Um, I would pay thousands of dollars for it. Fantastic tool. We can use very simple charting. Don't need to do any sort of fancy stuff. Keep it nice and simple. Right, that is the video for today. Thank you very much for watching me. Take care. Have a good day.